This is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hey everybody, welcome. Uh, here I am. I'm Alex Bennett and we're here with the Ramble. It goes until midnight Eastern Standard Time and I am your host and we will be here uh, uh, until that time and in about, oh, I don't know, about a half hour from now. We're going to go to our citizens panel. We have a sort of a long uh, segment here, uh, longer than usual, not that long, but longer than usual segment with our our uh, our little uh, friend who's going to be joining us. Uh, and we're going to do that in just a second. Before that, I just want to rem- just say to you that he, this person is going is on video and a little bit out of sync. And the reason is, of course, the gods of Skype who don't know how to even sync their own system. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen. Let's look in on a dear old friend. Ladies and gentlemen, in front of you is the face of the wizened face, as you like to put it, of Will Durst. Good morning. A political, uh, I won't call you a pundit because I hate pundits. I'm not, huh? I'm not a pundit. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a journeyman satirist. Uh, I, <laughs> I used to think a satirist was, was somebody who said one thing and meant to illustrate another, but yeah. then they kind of expanded the definition uh, hallway so that now it just means anybody who uh, aspires to a higher uh, form of humor. I well, think. I always thought of satire as being, or maybe I'm thinking of parody. I always tend to, tended to think of it as being parody. In other words, you're satiring something, and what you're doing is you're doing an exact replication of it but with the uh, uh, the, the uh, uh, touchstones changed, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, I know what you mean. But see, I thought satire was Jonathan Swift yes. with his modest proposal. Yeah. You know, where he said that we should eat Irish babies. I yeah. thought that. Now he didn't really mean we should eat Irish babies. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I thought it, that's. He, he didn't mean we should eat Irish babies. <laughs> No, but uh, in fact, isn't Jonathan Swift kind of considered the first satirist? I don't, I, I can't name any before that. Oh, I'm sure Aeschylus had a hand and, you know, all those great guys. Uh, oh, you're going back to that time, I see. You're trying, yeah. you're trying to show how fucking smart you are. No, no, I'm just making shit up. Exactly. So how's it going? Did you take another vacation while I, before, since I saw you last? We did. We went to Hawaii. And were you there during the great attack by the Koreans? We were there during the alert. Really? You saw it come yeah. up on your phone? No. 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 Uh, I, I don't look at my phone a lot when I'm in Hawaii. Yeah. And I know that's a wrong thing, but it was plugged in. Yeah. And it was face down. And, you know, whenever I get notifications, it makes a buzzing noise. Yeah. So there were a lot of notifications. But uh, Debbie didn't, so, but we we were looking, it was 8 o'clock in the morning, for some reason we were up, normally we're not up that early. Yeah. We were, we were just getting ready to go to breakfast, Mm -hmm. and we're looking out, and people are running around the resort, because we were on the sixth floor, so we could see, people are running this way, and running that way, they didn't know where to go, they didn't know if they should seek, you know, basement shelter for for nuclear fallout or if they should go seek higher ground because of you know the tsunami threat so people had no idea where to go just running around nobody helped and then at 8 30 uh they called it all off we know a couple debbie and i if we had known we would have sat on the on our little balcony and had a beer at eight in the morning. That's probably what we would. <laughs> but we ran into a couple with an eight month old child and they were they were getting into a cab, they said when they got the all free, you know, Ali Ali all free uh, notice. But it was we were, we went back and looked. It was pretty scary. Were you there, know, were there literally got, were literally people running back and forth like crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Back and forth. Past each other. 
Wow. Yeah. This is like kind of like the Orson Welles thing for Halloween years ago, yep. but this is for real. You know, this is this this was not a this was not a fake test. This was a wrong test, but it was not a fake test. They proved <laughs> the system. They proved the system works. The only thing they didn't prove is that nobody knew where the fuck to go. <laughs> and then a day later, thirty six hours later, because this happened at eight a.m. Yeah. on a Saturday. Yeah. At ten p.m. on Sunday night. The little, the little thing in our in our room, you know, that tells you that there's a, a fire that you should Goes evacuate off. now. The little thing in our room, a voice came on and said, the alert is over. You can go back to your rooms. 36 hours, 38 hours later. Oh, really? Oh. I, I have no idea what that was so about. So they didn't, did they announce it? Were you in your room at the time that this happened? Some people said they were in the rooms and they heard an announcement. We were in our rooms. There was no announcement. Oh, boy. Oh, I guess you were. I know. It could be because maybe you got a deal or something on the room and they just didn't want it. <laughs> well, we did have one of the cheaper rooms. I will say that. So what did this prove to us? Well, everybody says it was some anonymous guy and they won't give his name because they don't want to embarrass him. Embarrass the <laughs> shit out of him. I mean, come on. That's if you buy the story, man. I don't buy the story. What do you? I, I think they plotted the trajectory, found it was going to Hawaii, hit the alert, and then knocked it out of the sky. Who's gonna know? <laughs> Who's gonna know? Do you really think? See, I'm beginning to feel that Kim Jong Un or ill, no, Un. Ill was his dad. Un he he was very dad. ill at the end, actually. And uh, what? Kim Jong, what what what's let, uh, Letterman call him Kim Jong mental? Oh, mentally ill. Kim Jong mentally ill. <laughs> well, he had a stroke about uh, a couple of years before he died. Mm -hmm. So yeah, there was a couple of rough yeah. years there. Uh, it must be the weight problem. Anyway, so uh, it, it, Un, I'm beginning to think he's not as crazy as our president. <laughs> I mean, he seems to know what he's doing. You know, he's trying to get the attention of the world. He's trying to get a foothold into negotiation into what he wants. And he's using his rockets and his nuclear power as, a, as an entree. Is that stupid? No. Is that no, especially when he can't. He has to quell his people somehow. And he's not doing it with a booming economy. You know? So. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, um, is he nuts, or is he as, as as nuts as we'd like to portray him to be? Or is, is our president crazier? Oh, you know that our enemies are never as nuts as we portray them. Saddam Hussein wasn't nuts. Saddam Hussein, unfortunately, looked like a police sketch artist rendering of a child molester. So, <laughs> uh, yeah. So I mean, the the question is. Who, who really is in possession of the biggest crazy person? Well, you know, if Trump were in uh, the leader of any other country, we'd be calling him a strong man. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah. What have you been doing? Nothing. I just been, my life's a bore. How's New York? Is it cold? Yeah, it's cold. Now it's getting a little warmer. It's in the, it's in the 40s now. Yeah, it's, it's almost February. Yeah, I mean, it, it, my wife said to me the other day, you should go outside, it's beautiful out there. And I'm looking out there and the sun's shining, so I go out and it's freezing. <laughs> yeah, that, that happens in January. And I that's, went, the woman... That's one of the pitfalls of living in New York in January. Is there a lot you of... You San Francisco in January, you know it's the same thing, only not so much. There, there are a lot of pitfalls to living in New York. Uh, not the least of which is it's not the exciting city it once was. Oh, no. Why not? It just doesn't. You know, there was a time, I hate to say this, where New York was dirty. When it had a certain, and it had a certain sense of danger. And that is what gave it its thrill. I mean, I know it's, that sounds strange, but it's kind of like if you walk on the edge of a razor... It's probably more exciting than just walking, <laughs> you know? 
uh, and and that's the way I always felt in New York. You know, there, there was this hint of danger. I mean, I never got mugged. I never got hurt. I never got in the middle of some. Neg- I got uh, beaten by the cops once, but you know, outside of that, uh, you know, it, I, I never got hurt. So, but it was the the pr- ever present danger was there. Okay, and my ex yeah. my ex wife Susan lived here for most of her life and never got mugged. Never, ever got mugged, right? When people left and right get mugged. No muggings. She comes to California with me. We start living in California. She goes back to see her parents or whatever. And uh, the first thing that happens is she books into the, I think the Plaza Hotel. And she walks outside the Plaza Hotel and gets mugged. (laughs) (laughs) So she spent all her life here never getting mugged. But once she was a tourist. Right. But, but it was since there was, <coughs> do you know what I'm talking about, about that sense of danger always kind yeah. of being interesting? Yeah. You know, and, and 42nd Street was like, you know, 42nd Street, like they show on The Deuce on HBO. And, and uh, there was something about it that had, had its own kind of weird flavor, even though it, it, was, it was like a... A litmus paper to America. That's what we really were, okay? But everywhere else tried to pretend it was something else. I, I don't know if I'm explaining it well, but it, it just doesn't have that anymore. You go out there and everybody's got, you know, you bump into somebody and they go, excuse me. Now, when did that ever happen in New York? <laughs> excuse me? There was a TV show in the 80s, and it was called The Equalizer. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Starred Edward Woodward, uh, a British actor, and his name was Robert McCall in the TV series. And you should see the dark vision of New York that this show had, mm-hmm. even though it was in the '80s and things mm-hmm. were, you know, a little better. I mean, what you're talking about is, you know, mm-hmm. the like uh, the setting for the Deuce, 1973, 1974. That's when New York was, you know. It's scariest or seventy seven summer yeah. of Sam, you know. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, uh, that, that's what I'm talking about. There was a certain kind of like thrill, certain and whatever. And now I just, uh, you know, I don't feel. I live here in Harlem, which when we first moved here was still a little dangerous, and I didn't even feel it that much, you know. So I mean, it it's it's uh, I don't know. How high up are you? Uh, we're on the top floor. We're on the eighth floor. No, I mean in in terms of streets. Oh, in for terms of streets. Oh, I'm uh, between six hundred sixteenth and one hundred seventeenth. Oh, that that's hard. That's barely Harlem. No, that that's is Harlem. No, no, it 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 wasn't Harlem in nineteen twenty five. By the time you got to the nineteen fifties, it was Harlem. In other words, one hundred twenty fifth Street moved. It kind of it all moved down, and now it, 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 actually Harlem goes all the way to one hundred tenth. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah. Uh, our building, uh, did you ever see the movie New Jack City? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know that building they took over called the Carter? Oh, no. no. That's the building I live in. Oh, no kidding. Yes. Yes. It's actually called the Graham Court. And um, it's funny because that picture so has set in people's minds, you know, because it's this house, ladies and gentlemen, in case you're not familiar with the movie, this apartment house that these uh, uh crack uh, or what were they what were they selling what, the were, gang. They, what were they making the gang. yeah uh, they, they 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 were crack dealers they they took over this building and the inhabitants within and used it as their distribution point and their point of making the drugs and clubhouse and clubhouse and uh they called it the carter they put in a different sign up there it said the carter they called it the carter in the movie and now when i pull up in a cab with the cab driver he looks at the building and goes oh you live in the carter <laughs> <laughs> so that, that you know that always happens and um but what happens at one point in the picture wesley snipes it has a diagram of the building and he's showing it to everybody and he says and right here is where we're going to build our crack lab and it's our kitchen (laughs) actually more specifically it's one window over which is the pantry but you know 
It's bas- It's our apartment. That's hysterical. Yeah, so I've been wanting for years to make a frame of that and just do a giant blow up and put it a big a big picture of it, of him pointing to that. Place. Hell, I think you should do tours. You know, that's a that's a, a touchstone movie. People love that movie. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And um, there were several, a lot of movies and stuff done here. They do a lot of stuff here. Uh, uh, Jungle Fever was done here. The picture right after that, which was, I can't remember what the name of it was, was another Spike Lee film. I She's going to have No, 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 no. It wasn't Spike Lee. It was another film with Denzel, with uh, uh, Wesley Snipes. Uh, the next film by Wesley Snipes was also done here. And then they do TV shows. They did Pan Am here. They're now doing Mozart in the Jungle here. Uh, you know, so, we, you know, it's, 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 it's a story building. I mean, it's, you know, I talk about it a lot here, so I'm, I don't want to bore people, but it was built. Now I find out it was built in 1901, finished in 1901. They started building it in 1898. 1898 and then 1991 it opened up and no Jews no black people were allowed to buy apartments here wow yeah and it wasn't until like 1928 they left the first black in but I think they still kept Jews out for a while (laughs) you know and but as it became Harlem it became more and more black families when we moved in here there wasn't almost wasn't a single white family in the building and then when the landlords learned how to raise the rents here to seven thousand dollars and things like that, the blacks, the blacks who were here, could stay because you can't push them out. They've got rent stabilization. They've got rent control. But uh, you know, slowly, I've seen this building slowly turning white. All right, and I liked it when we were the only black, white people in the building. Yeah, you know. It just uh, it at least gave it a lot of flavor. But anyway, so that's the history so, of our. So they're they're rental apartments. They're you don't buy them. Uh, no, no, they're 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 rentals. They're 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 no. It's not like condos or co-ops right. or whatever. It's not going to switch to being well. A condo. We're hoping it does. You know, because we'd buy in a second. Because uh, we've got like eleven rooms here for crying out loud. You know. Jeez. You know, so, um, but anyway, that that being that, so uh, you come back from Hawaii and Trump's still yeah. president. How does that make you feel? I know. It's been a year and, what's today? Today is the 23rd, a year and three days. And it seems like decades. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah. Yeah. It seems like he should be termed out by now. What do you feel about the about the Democrats in this latest latest imbroglio with, uh, 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 you know, the DACA thing versus uh, closing down the government versus unless we get something with DACA, we're closing down the government. I felt um, I felt somewhat uncomfortable for the Democrats. Why? Uh, look, we all know DACA has to be passed, right? You know, DACA has to be made the law of the land. These kids have to be allowed to stay here. They don't know anything else. They don't know where you you want to deport them to a country they've never been in in their lives, can't even speak the language. You know, it's horrible. But uh, how do you equate one thing with another, the budget? How do you hold up the budget saying we want some kind of DACA deal? While it makes sense politically, I don't know if it makes sense to the voter out there. And they don't turn around and blame the Democrats for the shutdown. Well, it doesn't make sense to Trump's voters. Because immigration is like uh, their their third rail, you know. And they don't care. They don't care if the kids have been here their entire lives. They're not Americans. Yeah. So, so, but... Uh, I think it was just a negotiating stance. Yeah. It was step one. Yeah. Uh, the continuing resolution, they got it down from a month to three weeks. So I don't I don't know if that's part of it. Uh, but they also got Mitch McConnell say that he would put a bill because the DACA program is very popular, even amongst Republicans, like 68%. Yeah. Of Republicans believe in, uh, you know, that they should be allowed to stay. So I think 
They're going to find some way. The thing is, now the Democrats are open up to uh, Republicans linking funding for the wall to DACA. So it's going to be a quid pro quo. It's well, he, but here's the act. thing. I, I can't believe that Schumer, Mr. Phony Liberal that he is, because I don't like Schumer. I, I consider him, well, he's a political whore, but then again, isn't everybody down there, you know? Um, wow. Oh, the one I hate more than anything is my other senator, Kirsten Gillibrand, for what she did to uh, Al Franken. You know, that she lost my vote forever. I'm, I'm not putting up with that stunning... Yes, it, yes, it, yes. You know. Uh, whatever the you know what the term well the I stunt. she's yeah. a cunt okay let's just say wow. It. wow you know because I see her as a real political whore to trade Al Franken for the Alabama race which is really what they did yep you know uh, was wrong it was really wrong they lost themselves one of the most ardent leftists they had in Congress and I I, I hate to say that about uh, Franken because I used to have great doubts about him. And he proved himself to me, you know. He went in there and he stayed true to the cause, as it were. And, and you know, she isn't a liberal. She's a, well, she is a liberal. Liberals 10 degrees to the left in good times, 10 degrees to the right when it affects them personally, as Phil Oates once used to say. But I, I, don't, I don't like Gillibrand and I don't like Schumer. But Schumer goes in there and he's willing to trade financing for the wall for DACA. And I don't think that's an option. We don't build that fucking wall. It's, uh, it's what, 18 billion, did they say? Something like that? Oh, what? no, 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 no. Much, much, much. Much more? more? It's like 18 billion per mile. <laughs> no. Yeah. I heard 18 billion. He wanted 18 billion to build the wall. No, the, no, you can't build the wall. No, it, I think it's, I think it's like literally, I, I don't know. I don't know, but it's a huge amount of money per mile, and it's 1,952 miles long. And, and quite frankly, you can't put up a wall along that entire thing. Well, the, the, you to can, begin with, there are already is a wall along much of it, okay? And then once you get to the Rio Grande, what are you going to do? Dam up the Rio Grande Bridge with a with a with a uh, wall? Right. You can't. Right. And you, then there's right away, and then there's also there's you know. A million problems. Yeah, but for him to even acquiesce to that, I found to be giving away the 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 farm. Basically, I I just saw no reason for him to do that. Now, do you see a reason why Schumer did that, Mister Liberal Schumer? It's funny though because the popu uh, the 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 way the populace blamed the shutdown in the beginning, it was. 49 to 28 Republicans over Democrats. Wait a minute. Let me, let me turn my phone off here. I, I don't know who's calling me. Oh, it's my wife calling me. Let me stop that. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Hey, wait, my whole thing. Hey, don't call me. Don't call me. Don't call me. Okay. I don't know. Anyway. Well, that worked. Yeah. Well, I tried to turn it off with my watch. You know. Uh and 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 I it, it wouldn't turn off with my watch. Usually it turns off with my watch. I hit decline. But then again, she'd try calling me again. Uh, she knows I yeah. do an interview for crying out loud. Jeez, Almighty! Anyway. Are you gonna get the Home Pod? Well, I have an Echo. Oh, you have an Echo? I have an Echo. Yeah. How's that working? Out? I love that it. it's in the kitchen because that's the yeah. best place to put it. Because you can say you know t set timer for two minutes or uh, a a Echo uh, add. Uh, uh, vitamins to shopping list or and then I go to Costco and I open up my phone and I push on my Alexa app and I go to shopping and it tells me all the stuff I've asked for during the week Wow isn't that cool and you can that use it cool. to phone people and you can use it to uh, play music right and you can it I think echo is a wonderful wonderful idea that they came up with and uh, every, everybody should buy the Amazon version because they're the guys who invented the, the form, you know, and created the, the space. Supposedly, well, I don't know, it was last Christmas. I don't know how it did this Christmas, but last Christmas it was the number one selling item. On Amazon. On Amazon, yeah. Yeah. 
Uh, but I like it. I, I think so it's So you terrific. think Apple came to the game too late? Oh, I, way too late. All they can do is imitate now. You know, nothing they do that imitates is is as good. Like, for instance, I do have them be, just because I, I want to have them. But I do have the Apple TV, but Roku is much better than Apple TV. Apple TV really is set up so that you will buy Apple stuff, like from the Apple Music Store and the Apple Video Store and things like that, where uh, Roku isn't set up that way. Roku is just set up for, for you to play stuff. You know, They're not trying to sell you half a dozen things along the way. I've seen Roku and I've seen Apple TV, and now... On my DVR, because I have Xfinity cable, mm -hmm. it, they pretty much give me all that stuff that you could get on Roku and Apple TV. Yeah, I get on Fios. Netflix is available. Yeah. 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 So, you know, I mean, it, that's starting to happen, too. But, uh, in fact, all those little boxes that I've got, the Roku, the uh, Apple TV, all of that, the, they're going to become uh, uh, antiquated, Yeah, if you were. Uh, right. So, but anyway, um, getting back. Have you to, seen? Uh, did you see the Alienist? Not yet. Is it good? Uh, first episode was a little murky. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, then, uh, murky is not good. Uh, well, there are only ten episodes, so. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I'll watch it again. Yeah. Uh, what are you watching? What am I watching? Well, we just got through watching a bunch of movies because it was SAG Awards time, and we right, had right. to we had to vote. What did you see? Oh, uh, uh, Downsizing, and uh, uh, my, our favorite film, oddly enough, the film we liked the best, the one we really walked away from and said, wow, that was good, was The Big Sick. Ah. Have you seen it yet? No, very, we got it. Very good, and it's on, it's on Netflix. Is it on Netflix? Or, or, oh, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's on, on Netflix, <clears throat> yeah. yeah. Uh, you should watch it. It's a, it's a great, wonderful little film. How about Get Out? Like, I love Get Out. Girlfriend didn't, but she wants to watch it again, you uh, know. Well, because she's not black like me. Uh, and uh, uh, let's see here. Yeah, no, I like Get Out. I thought it was, what I thought it was, was a, uh, a very original musing. I mean, let us make let me make a horror film for black people. <laughs> a real horror film for black people. Not a bunch of white kids don't go into the woods kind of black film. Right, right. But, yeah. hey, a black guy goes into a white neighborhood with a white girlfriend and something is happening happen. to the black people who go into that neighborhood. And I think I think it was just, I, I think it spoke on several different levels, several, both socially, and it was a, it was a good horror film, you know. So uh, uh, I, I really like that. I think it'll get nominated for an Academy Award. It won't win, but it will get nominated. You know? Well, they were out this morning. Oh, were they? Did they come out this morning? I didn't even see them. Nominations came out this well, morning. Oh, wait a minute! To get out, make the list. Don't know. Don't oh. know. I came straight to you. Oh, let me see here. Uh, let me see if I if I can get up the Oscars quickly here. Uh, Oscars, Oscars. All you have to do is put in Oscars, and that uh, that's and as uh, uh, Oscar nominations. What to expect? Oh, here we go. Ninetieth Academy Awards. Ninety. You remember when we were only in the 40s? <laughs> no. <laughs> Let me see here. What is the Oscar nomination? A full list of the nominees. Here we go. Let's just see yeah, if I was out. Okay. Yeah. Best picture. Ten years will be a hundredth because the first best picture was mm -hmm. Wings or something well, like here, that. Here comes. Here comes. Uh, here's the best picture. Call Me By Your Name. We didn't watch that. The Darkest Hour, which I thought was a yawner, just an absolute yawner. Dunkirk, okay. Dunkirk. Yes. Wow. Get Out. Ah. Lady Bird, which is a fine ah. little picture. Phantom Thread. Uh, the Post, because you Shape always have water. to nominate. You always have to nominate Spielberg. Uh, my friend Shecky saw the Post. He saw a screener of it, and he said it's like it's like another uh, another episode of Ed Grant. Which was oh, the, yeah. it was the Ed Asner right. show, yeah. uh, uh, three billboards outside of uh, Ebbing, Missouri, which is I think they uh, got the, the kind of the lock. But my favorite picture of the year, and I think the best picture of the year, is the other one that's been nominated, The Shape of Water. Ah, uh, yeah. Not Itania. No, Itania isn't there. 
Oh, Son wow. of a bitch. You know. Um, it, but uh, for best uh, a- actor, uh, the guy from Call Me By Your Name, I can't pronounce his name. Daniel Day Lewis, Daniel Kaluuya yeah, for Get Out. Wow. Gary Oldman, Darkest Hour, and Denzel wow. Washington. Best actress in a leading role, Sally Hawkins for Shape of Water. She was wonderful in that film. Frances McDormand. Uh, Locke. You know, Locke. Yeah, unfortunately. I think Sally Hawkins was better. But anyway, Margot Robbie for I, Tanya. Shershe Ronan for Lady Bird and Meryl Streep for The Post. You always, always got, you know something, if they don't nominate Meryl Streep, maybe some decent new actress might get a nomination. But no, it's always got to be Meryl Streep. The whole fabric of civilization, the whole fabric will decline. It will will unravel. unravel. It will unravel. Best Supporting Actress. Well, I give it to Allison Janney. Lock. Uh, Or Octavia Spencer for Shape of Water. She was terrific. Uh, best uh, uh, supporting actor, uh, Willem Dafoe, Woody Harrelson, Richard Jenkins, Shape of Water. I'd give it to him. Okay, Christopher Plummer. Well, he just showed up, did ten minutes work, and went home. What a great uh, gig! The, you know, he was he was uh, the stand-in for what's his name, uh, and Sam Rockwell for uh, Three Billboards Outside. Lock. Yeah, uh, that movie. It's a good movie. It's just I, you know, I wasn't crazy about it wow so anyway directing dunkirk get out wow get out's getting a lot of nominations here um uh, lady bird phantom thread in the shape of water um that's director yeah that's that's director and we could go on with the rest but nobody cares about the documentaries yeah. and the animated features and the and all that kind of stuff so anyway do you see any good movies no, no. We went to Hawaii, and we took all of our screeners with us because they have a VCR or a DVR in the room, mm-hmm. and we didn't watch anything. How do, how, do, how do you get screeners? What for? I'm SAG. Oh, you're SAG. Oh, of course. All right. All right. Isn't that nice? It's the nicest. They're the two nicest things I've gotten out of my union. Uh, I'm not SAG, really. I'm after it. Were you SAG, or were you after it? I'm, I was mostly... Uh, Let's see. Mostly after. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, uh, uh, what was that? Oh, my egg's ready. Uh, uh, what was I going to say? Uh, yeah. Um, uh, your pension and your screener. Uh, my, well, my pension, eh, so so. I get about eight, nine hundred bucks a month on my pension. Oh. No big deal. Well, I mean, it's a big deal at my age, but you know. Uh, hey, I get, I get, I get, I get the screeners now because we became part of of SAG. All right, and then, then I just found out I get insurance. I get my uh, supplement to my. Uh, oh really? To my yeah, and it's it's cheap. It, by comparison, it's like two thousand dollars a year. It's, you know. Oh wow! And oh, wow. Uh, and it takes care of everything that Medicare doesn't take care of. Plus, I get twenty five hundred dollars dental. You know, it's a pretty good, pretty good plan. So, so I feel that my years of living this long, and also I get free SAG after membership because I am a I am a senior member, and after a certain amount of years of paying in, they go, eh, keep no kid, don't send us a check. Yeah, yeah, that's a good union. So, yeah, well, yeah, well, you're a fellow union member. Yeah, let's go out and hold a union, whatever. So. I got to tell Debbie to investigate the insurance thing, because I well that, the insurance thing doesn't kick in till you're 65. Are you 65? Yeah. Okay. And and it's the supplemental. Right. 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 So you, you may have gotten something from them already, but I got this thing saying you qualify, and I go, wow, that's amazing. So I call yeah. I called them up, and they said, yes, you do. And I said, can do I have to wait till the end of the year? And they said. Only if you have a life event, and the life event could be that you've stopped your other insurance. In other words, if, if you stop your your wife's insurance at work, they send we, they make a letter, send it to us. You are then able to have have it any time during the year, rather than wait for the end of the year to do it. Ah, uh-huh. so that's cool. 
Well, we've been talking about our insurance. We've been talking about the Oscars <laughs> and movies, and and, and because it's we're Oscar nomination, because dude. we're sick and tired of fucking Trump. <clears throat> I can't. I can't. What What's the weather like in in San Francisco today? Let's see it. Oh, oh my God! There's my city. There's my ocean. There's my yeah. There's my Christmas tree. There's your. Haven't you taken it down yet? No, Valentine's Day. Val. Val- <laughs> Valentine's Day. We have to have a legitimate holiday. <laughs> anyway, hey, we've gone a long time on this one. Hey, thank, thank, thank you, you so much, Can ladies. You do this again? Huh? Yeah, of course. I listen. I do it every every day if you wanted to do it. You know. <laughs> Stop it. You know. No, you're terrific. Uh, and and uh, you know, we'll see you in a couple of weeks. And in the meantime. Uh, let's Say hello to all your let's followers. Hope, let's me. hope we come close to the end of the world so that we'll have something to talk about. <laughs> and even if 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 uh, if Trump blew Looks it up, like he I'm would moving. still blame it on the Democrats. Yeah. yeah. Or Obama. By the way, quickly, does he or does he not hate Obama for the correspondence dinner? Yes. It's, this whole it, thing is about. It's all about everything. Every time he tries to dismantle Obama, it's because of the correspondence dinner. Thank you very mm-hmm. much, Barack Obama. You did fuck up. You should have kept your mouth shut. <laughs> he just made fun of him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyway, ladies and gentlemen, Will Durst. Yay! This is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. I just love talking to Will. Just love talking to him. Hey, how do you like our new, uh, new, I uh, did this over the weekend. It, 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 just, you know, look at that. Look at that. Huh? 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 Isn't that good? You like that? Uh, yeah, well, I had to have something to do over the weekend to justify my income here at, uh, at the lovely uh, uh, studios of, uh, <laughs> of uh, GabNet. Anyway, uh, welcome back. I'm Alex Bennett, in case you, uh, you need to know. And I run this show, and I do it all by myself, so that's why I'm looking around on a screen here, because I have to open the Skype lines, because a lot of the people who usually call me are going, is he ever going to go to the Skype lines? Huh? Is he? Is he? Well, where the answer is yes, and we're going to do that right now as I open up the lines, okay? So now we just have to wait for people to call. If you want to call, best way to find out how to do it is to go over to gabnet.net. That's our web page. And on the right-hand side of the page, it tells you everything you need to know about getting on Gabnet. It tells you how to get Skype. It tells you, uh, uh, you know, it even has a little button you can push, and it'll just dial us up. Uh, it's it's all over there on the right hand side of the page, so I don't have to give you the whole litany of how how it's done. Um, we use Skype as a way of talking to people, so if you don't have it, please be sure you download it. Um, however, there have been some problems with Skype lately, and I'm waiting for some some people here to call so I can start telling you about the. Uh, uh, the, the what I found out over the weekend, which was all pretty good, actually. But uh, guess who's calling here? First up uh, on our, our panel, ladies and gentlemen, there he is. Hey, I uh, uploaded the Skype that you... Uh, well, that's what I was going to talk about. Yeah, go, go ahead. Yeah. So I don't know, uh, you know, I'm seeing you full screen. Mm-hmm. Looks good. Yeah, and then it will work just like the old one worked. Not the new one. Yeah. Yeah. Now, uh, I have a little rectangle of me up in the corner, and that's uh, that's uh, about it. You in the corner. It should be down usually Maybe at, I can oh, at the bottom. It can, it, uh, I don't well, know. Mine's always on the bottom. Drag, huh? You, you can, uh, no, I dragged it down, and it went back up. Oh. All right. Okay. Well, anyway, I hope that you are actually, you You know, it might, it, here's what happened, folks. Uh how do we explain this? People were suddenly saying to me, it's not the same Skype I've always had. Now he has little, like puts four pictures in the screen and then only little bubbles for everybody else and things like that. Is that the best way to describe it? Uh, I was using whatever it was that was classic and it hadn't changed. Uh, okay, well, that's what you should be using now. 
uh, probably because it's no, I I don't know what I'm using now because I downloaded it the way you told me to, mm -hmm. and it replaced whatever I had. You you downloaded the Skype Classic, right? Uh, I'm not sure. It didn't give me that option. Yes, you have that option. Uh, it uh, what it did was it uh, you may have I down went to the downloads. You may have downloaded the wrong version. Did you uh, click on downloads up at the top of the screen? No. Uh, yes. And then you went to a download page. You went to a page, and then uh, it, that gave me a blue. Uh, uh -huh. They said go to the shop, right? No, there yes, was it, no go yes, to the shop. Yes, it does. It says that. Then you did it wrong. Well, maybe on the Mac it's different. No, on the Mac it's uh, it, it's exactly the same. It goes over to something else, and then one it says uh, classic. All right. Well, I didn't get that. Now it looks like I lost your camera when Scott Boddicker, uh came on. Well, I I think you downloaded the wrong thing. I I I wrote some very specific. I followed it to the T, you, it, except there was nothing in there that gave me options. Tools, options, advanced, it didn't exist. Uh, is, there, is there a gear on the bottom of your screen? Uh, gear? Let me look. L little gear thing on the bottom of your screen? Uh, um, no. Uh, there's a happy face, a mountain. Uh, hmm. I think you downloaded the wrong one. All right, well. That's the one I got. Th that's the one you have? Yeah, I got a happy face and a mountain and... Yeah, well, uh, you Matt shouldn't have Mike full screen, and he's blurry. Uh, and uh, Scott and uh, you. Let me let me tell let me tell everybody. Toggle your camera, huh? Toggle your camera. Toggle my camera. My camera is working. Yeah. Okay. I see him. Yeah. You see him? Yeah. Okay. Yep. I don't know. Why I don't. You know, anyway, uh, hold on a second. Let me let me open this up. Let me just read to everybody. See, what happened was, is that a lot of people got upgraded to the new version of Skype, okay? But the new version of Skype isn't as good as the old one for what we do, okay? And you might want to know how to do that. Well, I wrote the following. You go to Skype.com. Don't click on Get Skype. You're going to see it, the blue thing when it says Get Skype. You don't want that. You want to go to the top of the screen where there are a whole bunch of little things, and one of them says Download. You click on Download, uh, and it takes you to a new page. In the middle of the page, you'll be presented with Get Skype from Store. And this happens for both Mac and it happens for uh, the uh, Windows. You click on that, it presents a pull-down menu of choices. The last one of which is Get Classic Skype. Now, if you've signed in with, with Windows, it'll, it'll download the Windows version. If you've downloaded with a Mac, it'll download the Mac version. And then you just install, you find out where it is and you install that file. And that's all there is to it. It's very simple. Uh, and uh, my other suggestion is, is then it, it's like the old one. You go up to Tools and you go up to, uh, and then you click on, what did I say here? Um, uh, uh, options, uh, 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 options, and then advanced, and then automatic updates, and turn automatic op updates off. Otherwise, when you sign out and you sign back in, then you know the only the only thing that I got when I went up to tools was on the there was one thing on the drop down, and that said archive or get your old conversations. Uh, no, uh, you're, you're, that the, uh, are you, did you go on to a regular browser or were you trying to do this all from within Skype? Uh, no, I went on a regular browser and I typed in Skype.com as you okay. indicated. I'm going to call back and see if I get your camera. I'll re Skype. What, what, what do you mean? Well, uh, you, you don't Anybody have your camera. I, I was the first one on and as soon as Mike came on, I got knocked off. Yeah. Well, I think so. you, I think you also downloaded the wrong version. Okay, well, you know, yeah. uh, I wonder how I get out of this. Uh, and yeah, that, that okay. you have the you have the you you have the new version. That's what you have. That's what you have. Oh boy. Um, yes, Mike. I heard that uh, the Ship of Water got thirteen nominations. Yeah, so that's not bad. Yeah, I know. I told you it was going to get a hell of a lot of nominations. It's a good movie. It's a great movie. 
Here, here comes, here comes Mike, uh, Mike. Here comes Phil, and I bet he can't even see me still, right? Yeah, I've got your camera. I've got uh, uh, three. Uh, everybody, I can see everybody. So uh, I'll, I'll retry this later. It could uh, be, you know, I don't know this about when you download that thing. If it doesn't put a different version of Skype, the new, the old version of Skype, on your machine but it leaves this newer version on your machine as well, and you may be clicking on the newer version rather than the... I didn't have a chance to click on anything. Uh, yeah. it, uh, it only gave me the one option. Yeah. But, uh, and, and I did follow the directions. It's just that there was... Uh, there, uh, at the point that you said pick classic version, there was, no, there, there was no area. It was in the center of the screen where you could do the download, but there was nowhere to choose that. Yeah. And, yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, uh, you know, I, for instance, I have a Mac here and uh, let me bring up uh, Safari because that'll, that'll be a good way of, of doing it. Let's say I go Skype. Uh, yeah. well, hold on a second. Here comes Patrick. Uh, hello. Pa hello, Patrick. How are you? Are you there, Patrick? I'm here. Okay. Good. Yeah. He's there. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I go to Skype.com, and then I don't go to download Skype. I go up above to downloads, right? You don't want to go where it says download Skype. Yeah. Okay, you go to downloads. Yeah. I'm doing this on a Mac. Then it says get Skype for Mac. Does yeah. it, does it, on the Windows version, it says go to Skype shop or something. On this, it yeah. says get Skype for Mac. Then you you you. Push, click on that. There's a down me me menu that comes down, and it says "Get Classic Skype." Okay, uh, that's what maybe you want. I push the button and didn't click the down arrow. That could very well be push the down arrow, and then All go right. get Classic Skype, and you'll be fine. Yeah. Now that's for people with Macs, folks. Uh, in in the case of Windows, you will get a thing that says, "I think uh, go to Skype Shop." And you go down to the bottom and say, get classic Skype. Okay? Okay? I think that solves the problem. Whatever. Anyway. Um, so, um, so I'm getting uh, four large pictures. Yes. And yeah, yeah. And you've, got the, you've got the new version. You want to go oh. back to the classic. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I got. It's not so bad. Yeah. Huh? I like it. I like it. Well, if you <laughs> like it, keep it. But I can't yeah, use it here because, it. because it, would, and, it would make the... You can put whoever you want up in up above. I don't need to see myself on a big screen. I can just get rid of myself. Well, you're 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 in a little screen, and I'm in a little screen. Well, no, on I got well, one. I got you in a yeah on yours. Yeah, I got yeah. you in a big screen. Well, the mine. reason it, I can't go to that it, new one it. is because it would look lousy on the air. Okay, and it would mean too much work for me to every oh, yeah, time somebody yeah, speaks yeah, 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 to yeah, click I, on their picture and bring them down yeah, into the four because there are only four pictures you see, right? Right. And then right. everybody else is a bubble. Right. Correct. I don't know who thought that was a good idea, but well, I can put I can put Mike in a bubble so I don't have to look at his blurry camera. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And when it goes into a bubble, it, it's more it's more concentrated, so it looks it looks better. Yeah, it looks better. It looks yeah. better. Yeah. But yeah. this is for anybody who wants to go back to the old version because some people just don't like this new version. Uh, also, because you don't seem to be able to have this thing, the places to turn stuff on and off. Although I, in looking at some things online, supposedly there's like a gear sign at the bottom of the page, and that brings up all the tools. So, yeah, you know, uh, but, um, but uh, I don't know. I haven't loaded this thing in myself because I don't want it. On this version, uh, the tools is uh, is in the normal place up and up uh, up in the top of the screen. Yeah. Uh, when I move my cursor up yeah. there. Well, we've lost tons of people now since we've been talking about this. <laughs> well, this is your favorite subject. No, it's not my favorite subject. I was just trying to solve the problem. But then you go, I can't see you, Alex. Now i got to hang up. Now I'm calling back. I can't mean, this, tough. that. You know. Hey, I had an all-Mac uh, day today. Uh, my, uh, my, my new used uh, Mac Pro mm -hmm. came. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the garbage can. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but my buddy who sold it to me is from Australia. And he bought it when he was in Australia and then brought it to New York. Mm -hmm. So 
uh, he sends it to me, and it's got an Australian plug uh, uh, on the end. <laughs> now, I could probably cut it off and just put a regular plug no, on it. Uh, no, but wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Show, show, me, show me on on the machine. Pick the machine up and show me where that plugs in. Well, that plugs into the wall. No, 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 it, no, no. Where it plugs into your... Uh, was that, uh, 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 okay. Uh, uh, this is where you plug in oh, the normal. You just get a normal. Sub. There's a normal plug you put in there and it has an American plug. Yeah, except know. the one for the Mac has a little shroud uh, around it. It doesn't and matter. It shroud. It hmm. doesn't do anything except make it fit perfectly. And uh, well, so, so it doesn't fit perfectly, but you can get you can fucking plug it in or go get yourself yeah. go to go to a store and get yourself an adapter. Well, yeah, I could have gotten a uh, a plug adapter from Australian to a U.S., but I didn't want that. So I called up Apple Care, and I tried to order the oh, plug. God. Well, if you put in this uh, uh, the code for this thing, it comes back as an Australian product. Right. So the, the guy tries to uh, give me a phone number in Australia to uh, to, yeah. to order the plug. And I said, you know, this this number doesn't look very, uh, I, you know, I've never seen anything like this. And he says, oh, well, you're in Australia. I said, no, no, no. Nobody, <laughs> nobody fall asleep while this is going on. Okay, we'll be through with it in a moment. Yeah. Yeah. It, so you pay $2,000 for a machine that you can't get to work. Because, yeah. So By the way, did you also hear they're going to stop making the iPhone X? Uh, yes, and I knew that. Uh, you but knew Scott that? Scott wants to say something. Yes, Scott. Hey, Phil. Yeah. Do you know what kind of power they use in Australia? Do they yeah. use uh, 50 hertz, 60 hertz? Uh, this thing says it'll, on the bottom, it says it'll run on both. Yes, it run, it, it, it's, a lot of equipment uh, will run on whatever it's oh. fed. And it also says that it was okay. designed in California and made in the USA. So all you have to do, if you don't want that little plug that goes perfectly into there, you can just get, uh, you know, I, I know that plug. It, 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 they have it on everything, their Apple TV, whatever. It's just yeah. it doesn't have that little flange on there, so big fucking deal. Well, I, uh, I spent an hour and a half on the phone with uh, Apple, and they felt so bad that they couldn't figure out how to order the plug for me that they got it for me for nothing. <laughs> so I'll have it in two days. Oh, okay, fine. Uh, yeah, yeah. And then while I was there today, oh, I got those charging things for my uh, iPhone 10. Yeah, well, you, yeah. The, you mean the phone they're going to stop making any day now? Well, I knew that. This was an anniversary. No, uh, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. It, it wasn't just done for an anniversary. This was meant to be a permanent part of their... Of their no, it, yes, it no, was. I, I've been reading about it today. It was planned as a permanent thing with upgrades to newer versions as the years go on. But they found this thing is selling so badly in China, it's not worth their while to keep it going. And, and you know the China? reason it's you know what you know the reason it's not selling well in China because I just well, realized it's about the iPhone something? X. The screen isn't the biggest screen that Apple makes. Yeah, it's t well, it's t it's a tinier so screen, the Chinese and the Chinese the Chinese don't. Well, now you're being racist. The 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 <laughs> the, um, uh, the the Chinese do not do like a larger form phone, and so it's not selling in China. And because it's so, not selling in China, they've de decided to discontinue the whole thing. And they're going to the move they're going to move a lot of those features China? into. The, they're going to move a lot of those new features into a smaller iPhone, oddly enough. Uh, uh, so that's probably hmm. not the reason why it's not selling there. No, the reason I, I'm telling you the reason it's not selling there, I read all about it today. Yeah. Yeah. It's because they made a big miscalculation. I thought that this iPhone X was the same size as my phone, you know, which is the big Galoot phone, the uh, 6S. And my other phone that I gave to Faye is a 6S Plus. And that phone yeah. is slightly larger than than this one. Yes, but that's what I'm you saying. take away the button, the actual screen size is is within uh, a hair of uh, the just iPhone. the same. X. Just the same. They should have built a bigger screen. And the reason they should have is because the the Chinese look at it and say, "This phone is smaller than my other phone." 
Okay. Uh -huh. No matter no matter whether you could say the screen is the same exact size and everything, but the optics are that it isn't, and that's why they stop. They're stopping making it. So as of the end, they were they thought they were going to come out with the first rumors were they weren't going to keep making this version. They were just going to come out with the new version. Then it turned out that rumor has it that they're doing away with it completely. Not not to argue with you, but that's what I do best. Uh, when I first heard about the iPhone 10, they said it was a limited production no, uh, no. phone. They'll make as many uh, of those fucking things as they can sell, Phil. Uh, There's a, and as, right. as, as, as uh, what's his name at Apple? Who's the head of Apple? Uh, Cook. Cook said recently, there's a Phil born every minute. <laughs> hey, the, my friend who sent me the thing, he also sent me a bunch of stuff that I didn't expect. He sent me this wireless um, uh, pad mm -hmm. that you can use instead of a mouse. Wow. Uh, wow. I wonder I, where you get one of those. Uh, yeah. Geez. Uh, let me see here. Like this? Like the one I never use? Yeah. Well, I yeah. kind of like it because I've been using a whack of a weight. Huh? I have a Wacom tablet, but I wasn't using the pen on it. I was using the mouse that came with it, and it has very. This is much nicer. Yeah. Oh, it's much nicer. Yeah. It's still. It's a. I. I can't stand those pads. Just no. can't stand them. No. I. I don't know why anybody thought they were a good idea. Actually, I faked you out because that's an old one that I have there. I didn't buy a Mine's new one. Mine's the old too because it uses batteries. Oh, then it is the old one. The new one is yeah. actually. Plug in and you can charge them. Yeah. Here was uh, the biggest mistake that Apple ever made. Here's the mouse, right? See the mouse? Yeah. yeah. See where the where the slot is on the bottom that you put your, uh, um, your yeah. what do you call it in? You put your, your gazorchness here into it, right? And that's how you charge it. But when you try to charge it that way, try using it. <laughs> right? Now, now, they're not stupid because when they did the keyboard, they put it right in the back. And so you can put this thing in, have it charging, and be using it at the same time. Why didn't they put the thing somehow in there, a little place where you could just, you know? Well, you just use this pad here. And then you don't have any problems with the mouse. I think Apple is going to be on the wrong side of history sometime soon. You know, uh, it, it's it's starting to it's starting to get hinky when they they have a big, basic failure in what was one of their giant launches. I mean, really, they just bragged about this iPhone X and everything, but nobody could see a reason to have one except you, Phil. Yeah, well, and then and the it, it recognizes your face, and then it comes up with Siri comes up and says uh, you're ugly. You know, so. <laughs> this is Turn off. small Apple. But uh, it's got a little overlay on it for Photoshop. Now, I never use Photoshop, so it wouldn't help me that much. Mm. But uh, mm. it looks like a pretty interesting thing. Well, uh, I, I, you've never heard of overlays before. They've been around for the last 20 years. It's, it's pretty nice. I, I don't know. I, I, might, uh, I might send it to uh, yeah. Patrick because he uses Photoshop. Yeah. F you know? Patrick, have you ever heard of overlays before? Yes, I have. Yes, of course you have. <laughs> Phil hasn't because he's not in the loop, but we've all heard of overlays. I can get overlays for anything, including like Adobe, like uh, a Final Cut Pro, for instance. If I want to have an overlay that has all the various keys for using that, I can get that. Yeah. Yes. Anyway, Patrick. Hunger got over. <laughs> anyway, Patrick. Yes. The, the thing that confused the shit out of me with Apple was releasing the Apple 8 and the 10 basically within what two months of each other yeah i i didn't understand that and and that i thought that was the reason the 10 didn't do well is people that were tired of the seven went to the eight and the eight was cheaper if i'm not mistaken oh, it great deal yeah it was two hundred dollars less okay in in the carpet business we've got a pricing system called steak and chicken and what you do is if you want to sell the better stuff, yeah. you price, price a chicken yeah. higher yeah. so that it makes steak look like a good deal. And uh, 
you know, maybe that's what they did with uh, the iPhone. No, they, to begin with, they should have never called it the iPhone 10, which they did call it. Uh, they should have called it the iPhone X and, le- and, not, yeah. and not put a number on it. Because what's going to happen? Now they're going to come out with the iPhone 9, and then the next one after that's going to be the iPhone 11? Well, yeah. it, it, on the back of this, they're calling it the iPhone X uh, uh, on that. And uh, I don't know what they're calling it on the what phone. What they're it's... calling it is a bad idea that they finally decided to quit on early. So that the only guy who's going to have a working phone is going to be Phil. <laughs> Maybe. I, I'm happy with it, you know. Yeah. I'd be very unhappy with it because I like the larger size. I'm like the Chinese. Well, I, I don't want to have to squint, as you said. <laughs> well, you know, the back of it's pretty. It's um, it's glass-like. Uh, and my favorite phone was either the 4 yeah, yeah. or the 5. You know, most people get that. And then what do they do with the phone? They put a case on it. You put a case on it. So who cares what the it back can, looks like? It could, exactly. it could, they could have pictures of turds on it, and it wouldn't matter. I wonder if that thing scratches real easy, too, probably. <clears throat> I don't think uh, so. It probably does, but um, see, uh, piece of junk. Yeah, but the other thing that the iPhone 10 and 8 I think does is it shoots in RAW, and uh, it, you know if you do have. By the way, Phil is picture, not saying anything that's obscene, ladies and gentlemen. Let me just say that. Uh, raw format. <laughs> I forget it's, what the. Uh, what you are so acronym. wedded to raw format. You just think it's oh. the most wonderful thing ever. Yeah, because I, and it allows it, me. You know to, what raw format yeah. does? It takes up more space on your computer, on your well, hard drive. That's why I got the Drobo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what was what, what the Drobo do? Oh, that's your RAID. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, it's got five eight terabyte God, you, drives. You really it's, drive it's this show sport. off into a cul-de-sac. Yeah. You know, yeah. I'm good at that. You know, all I wanted to do was just to tell people if they don't like the new Skype, how they can go back to the old one. It's very well. Simple. You already killed off the audience using that. What do you mean? You know, well, I was the I was giving them useful information. You're talking about things that nobody's using, like the uh, the trash can and the uh, and the uh, uh, iPhone X. Yeah. Uh, well, it's uh, it's a, it's going to be a pretty tough unit. This trash can. Yeah, it's and a pretty tough that, unit, but the fact is, for the it. fact is that Apple is now going to be upgrading their Mac Minis to a point where they really are going to fill in the space. I have, uh, I have uh, a Mac, uh, 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 what do you call it? Mac Pro here on the on the floor. Not a, not a, it's not a, uh, you know, a, a, a notebook. Can. It's not a notebook. Uh, but this thing I like. The trash can is more than I need. So in between, what is there? Well, they're thinking of now positioning the Mac Mini as a thing in between because the Mac Mini is a terrific little piece of machinery. I'm using one now. Yeah, it's terrific. Um, and by the way, GabNet users, it'll be for sale. <laughs> uh, really? Yeah, okay, yeah. I'll buy it from you for 300 bucks. <laughs> I'd have a deal. Do you need, a, you need another? Computer? I'll give you 20 I can always stand to have another, uh, another uh, one of those around, you know. Uh, it, 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 is is it still in good working order? Uh, where it's working tonight. Does it have all your account numbers in it? Yeah. Well, oh, okay. you know, if you hit it with a hammer, it it works even better. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um. So anyway, uh, let me see here. Let's get off of this bullshit. But Please. then again, if we get off of this, we'll start talking about Trump. And if we start talking and about Trump's Trump, victory over the weekend over the Democratic Party. Making them act Schumer. Who it. gives a yes. shit? You know? Well, I, I kind, I won't, I don't want to disagree with you, Phil. Of but, course but, not. <laughs> but I do want to, well, I do want to disagree with you. Uh, yeah. I think that, uh, I, you know, Schumer pussied out. I, I think yeah. that's that's very uh, easy to say. Uh, uh, but then again, Schumer's always been a pussy. And the shutdown was over the weekend when nothing was shut down. Well, you know, I loved how they said, well, we're not closing the national parks. Well, of course not. They're really not open this time of year anyway. So, you well, know, uh, no big deal. But you know the part I hated? This this I really hated. Tell me tell me, I'm wrong about this. 
Uh, but they said, uh, in spite of the fact the government's closed down, we're making sure that Armed Forces Radio and Television Service will be able to provide the Super Bowl to our servicemen overseas. And I'm thinking to myself, fuck you. Are what? they allowed to do that? What? A rebroadcast? Oh, yeah. Well, they have the they have the they have the permission to do that. Do you, do you think the NFL is going to say no? You can't rebroadcast our game to the Armed Forces Radio and Television Service. No. Well, the the baseball uh, says you can't. No, no right? they 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 get the they simply ask and they're given permission. Ah. That's what good news. Ask. Yeah, but I mean that that to them the most important thing to do for the troops would be to get them the Super Bowl. If I were in the military, it wouldn't be doing me any biggie because I don't give a shit about the Super Bowl. Yes, Patrick. I got a friend of mine. Um, well, I've got several friends in the military. But this one in particular uh, had commented on a Facebook post where a mutual friend of ours was asking uh, for donation to his son, baseball, whatever it was. And the guy in the military responded. He said, well... If I ever get paid again, then I'll contribute. He said, because right now, that's the most important thing, is being able to get paid. Yeah. And I, he would agree with you that as much as he may enjoy watching the Super Bowl, he'd rather get a fucking paycheck. Yeah, exactly. Or, I, I or, thought you know. that paychecks for the military were still being no. uh, given no, as well no, as they were being They were being, th is being threatened that they were not going to get paid. Well, let me, let, me, let me say one thing to begin with. You're in the military. If they decide not to pay you, fuck you. They decide not to pay you. You still have to come to work, okay? Um, uh, but the fact is that everybody was, oh, and, and you know, we're not going to be able to get money to the, to the troops overseas and so on and so forth. Well, that's a minor consideration. Secondly, we all knew that by Monday the government was going to be back in business again. Yeah. This wasn't going to go on for months and months and months. It wasn't going to go on for a week. They just didn't want them to go to Mar-a-Lago. But, but the whole big thing was they were making a big deal about, about the, the, the troops. You know, oh, these guys aren't going to get their money. Yeah, but then when they finally do get their money, they will be, get retroactive pay. You know, and so, I mean, want, it's not like nobody's not getting anything. All the people they were going to lay off, put on furlough, okay? Right. When they came back, they were going to pay them whatever they were owed or whatever, sure. you know. And, you know, uh, Trump was supposed to have a $1,200 a plate dinner. Uh, I think it was 1200 It might have even been no, more. No, it was 100000 for a couple. Oh, really? Uh, and he canceled uh, because of the, uh, the, uh, the shutdown. No, they and, still had the sup. They still had the dinner. He didn't go. Well, I know. He didn't but go, they but still, they still had it. And, he no, needs his and, money. and nobody missed him. Yeah, but uh, Obama wasn't there either. But uh, now there's uh, a thing. Uh, uh, Davos. There, I guess there's a conference, and uh, Melania is not going. That's the uh, uh, the the. Uh, I don't know what the number is this year. It's an economic. Uh, yeah, thing. but yeah. Uh, that's because Stormy was going to be on the plane. That's it's right. Going to be a stormy trip. Uh, well, I guess once that stormy thing was exposed, uh, she's not appearing with uh, <laughs> with uh, with the Donald. Uh, well, I mean, you you'd be a little mad too if you found out that your husband had been cheating on you right after you had your baby. Well, <laughs> you know, I don't know if you know she she didn't say that uh, she had sex with him. Number one, number two, he had a photo opportunity with her. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Yes, she, did. His, she she uh, didn't say his, she, she did, yeah she did say she had sex. She with did him. say it. Oh, yeah. She did. Yes. Okay, because uh, I thought she was paid not to say it, and and well, and apparently she was, was paid not she to was say paid it. Not to bring it up again. But, but no, it was some attorney that uh, that exposed it. Well, in hurt. any event, I guess she's got to give the money back now because she's talking like crazy. Really? I'll, I'll kick into her fund. Yeah. Yeah. Any, any amount of money she needs to tell us everything about his penis, you know, we want to hear about it. Yeah. Uh, you know, like, uh, what's his <laughs> name? Uh, uh, Clinton, he had Peronis. And, uh, and one of his... Uh, by the way, by the way, his... not a Ukrainian food. All right, I just wanted to let people know that Peroni, <laughs> Peroni is not a Peroshki, okay? All right. So anyway, that was uh, that was one of uh, his lover's claims to fame. 
Yeah. Pyrone's disease is a disease in which your, your penis is bent. Yeah. Uh, perpetually bent. It's kind of at an angle, so you have to go in at an angle, you know. Uh, it's not curved. It's just it's bent. curved. It's curved. Yeah, but bent, curved. Uh, you know, yeah. I can't do it with my finger, but you know, I can't do it with my penis either. Wow. Hey, you know, uh, some guys can uh, tie a knot in their mouth with a cherry stem. You mm -hmm. know, I can, I can do that. Yeah, I've been able to do that. Yeah, but I don't do what? it because you know a lot of gay guys would then come on. Yeah. Me, so. What's the secret? To doing it no it's just i don't know i, I can't person, really tell you you can it's very you can do it. it's just a matter of manipulating your tongue can you do this with your tongue yeah okay well you could probably do that well, i know an easier way you just have two one tied one untied you put the untied yeah, in up there yeah, and, yeah, there in. Go, look at me look what i just did yeah, yeah. you republicans you're such assholes anyway <laughs> You know, um, but uh, um, <laughs> you muted, uh, uh, huh? Jeff is Jeff, Jeff muted. I don't mute anybody. I wish I could no, mute people. Mute. Actually, no, I was okay. Yeah, but I have something for Scott. Yeah, in Australia, it's two hundred and fifty volts at fifty HC. Yes, but right. but you can take any. Laptop. I'll give you a laptop as an excuse, as an example. And provided you have the proper adapter, we don't want to see your new fucking well, machine. At the bottom, it says uh, yeah. hundred to two forty. It volts. says one hundred and ten to two forty, right? No, it says one hundred to two forty. Okay, and fifty yeah. to sixty yeah. si uh, hertz. It can adapt to any of those voltages. Right. So uh, the same thing is true of any portable machine you buy. The same is true of, uh, I think, iPads, uh, iPhones, anything. Um, yeah. And when I, The first time I ever saw that, I think, was in a video camera that I had. And I wondered, I was going to Europe, would I have to get a diff? Could I plug it in over there? And they sa it said on there, 100 to 240. And you it just had to, to, you had to have a different plug just to put it into the wall. Oh, I, some of the equipment, the older equipment, had a switch. You could switch from 110 Here we to go. Welcome back to Tech Talk. Yeah, hey. <laughs> But uh, no, so don't worry. You can plug that into any 500 volt uh, plug <laughs> you, you can find much. and then get well, back to us, will you? Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but that's my ATC that I took home from work. And that's a, a, a smart UPS. So it's, uh, it's not only a, a. I wish my piece. UPS were as smart. They left my packages downstairs tonight. Yeah. By the way, uh, I, I decided I, 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 in the other room I, I needed a camera just for kind of like Skype because you can't I can't run the two camera I can't run one camera on both Skype and uh, the you know the edit the thing that switches the program. Okay. Yeah. So I I went I wrote off to Amazon and I bought a ten dollar camera, right? Web, yeah. Webcam. See how it is. Well, I just lost ten dollars. Man, that thing's a piece of shit. It can't even hang on to the to the top of the display, and yeah. then then when I tried to uh, get it to adjust to the top of the display, the thing closed up and it pinched my finger, and then I couldn't get it open, and my finger was hurting like hell. Uh, this was this was like a vicious little ten dollar camera I bought. Can you turn the Chucky doll? Uh, 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 from where it came? Yeah. Well, anyway, it it, it no, I'm not going to send it back for ten bucks. Eh, I'll I'll keep it and use it for something. You know. Well, I just I bought a Square Deal or Square Space or Square something or other Square Trade for my coffee maker, and uh, in the last week, my coffee maker's not making the coffee as hot as it used to. So oh I went back to Amazon. I clicked on the thing, yeah. and I said I want to return it. So they're they're looking into. Well, it. you didn't have to use Square Trade for that. Amazon's pretty good about taking stuff back. Yeah, well, I'll tell I've you the best it, thing is go coffee. buy go buy a coffee maker at Costco. Yeah, I took mine back three years later, and they gave me a new one. They gave me the money back, rather, and then I went and yeah. bought a new one, which by that time was cheaper than the one I bought. I walked away making a profit. I've done that two or three times with the Keurig, 
But this one, you you grind the beans, you put the beans oh, in. It's yeah. the old fashioned. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, you know, I like the little cup. You know, I like the little cup. You drop the little Fate. cup in there, and you and it, and then you got your coffee. And by the way, have I told you I am now drinking the best coffee I have ever tasted? What is it? It's strange. I sent away for it just because I like the name Pete's Big Bang. Pete's uh, Big the Bang. The same Pete's that we have yes, out here. Yes, Pete's. Uh, I I've been getting their Major Dickinson Dick, Dickinson's blend late, uh, for a it's long Costco. time. Huh? That's from Costco. The Major no, Dickinson's. No, no, no. I get it from Amazon. They don't have yeah, it at Costco. Yeah, oh, okay. They don't have I it get, at Costco. Well, at, anyway, anyway. So as I was shopping around I, I, on the Pete's page, I had this thing called Big Bang, and I just went, eh, what the hell? I bought like 16 of them. This is fucking great coffee. I don't really? know what it is about it, but it's it's. I can t I could tell the difference between this and some other coffee. So, you know. Does the bean taste burnt? Mm-mm. Because beets sometimes they burn their beans sometimes they over roast them. Again, I'm not we're not talking about anything that's salacious here, folks. When we're talking about burning your beans, this is not a euphemism. Uh, <laughs> I want people to be aware of that. Neither was whatever Phil said earlier. Uh, oh, but hmm? yeah. camera raw. Yeah, raw. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but the latest thing though is driving me nuts. Okay, is. I've been on my diet, okay? I've, I've maintained my low-carb diet, and yet I'm gaining weight. I'm up to like 191, up from like 187, right? And I can't... Bread, you no, I can't figure out why. I stick to the diet, and the next day I get on the scale, and it, it, I've gone up again. I figured something out. There are There is this thing in a, in a low-carbohydrate diet called net carbs, which is you take away the any any sugar alcohols or uh, any other phony sugar, and you take away the fiber, and what's left are your net carbs. So something may be 22 carbs, but once you're finished, it's maybe four carbs, net carbs. Turns out, net carbs, if you're if there's sugar alcohol in there, you can only take off half the sugar alcohols to come out with the net carbs. So I've been taking in more carbs than I thought I was taking in. Mm -hmm. uh, and something is putting it putting some weight on me, whether it's the sugar-free pudding, other... the sugar-free pudding, or the sugar-free... I have some sugar-free uh, protein bars, which are fine because it's a, it's a sweetener that you can take all the grams off of. But, I mean, it, it, I, I don't know what's been putting weight on me. I've been dieting, and, and I the weight goes up. What? There's one secret uh, that Atkins has that uh, you may want to look into. It's called, yes, you want the low carb, but you need to add exercise. And when you have that combined with the low carb, that diet works pretty good. I, was, I walked today. Yeah, what, to the refrigerator? No, I walked. I had to go over to Mount Sinai Hospital. Yeah? Yeah, that's a lot of walking when you're in Mount sure, Sinai sure. Hospital. Let's see here. How many steps did I go today? Uh, let me let me just open right this up. Right down to the Uber. Huh? <laughs> oh, I'm, 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 I, I, oh, I didn't walk a lot. Well, anyway. Uh, <laughs> How but, many steps? But no, I mean, the fact is that I, I don't know why I'm gaining weight. You know? It's, it's silly. It's stupid. So anyway, but I'm not, it's not like I'm turning into a fat pig or anything, but I just don't like it, you know. And it, what's even more vexing is that I then do diet and I don't do anything to put the weight on. And I'm careful about what I'm eating and I still don't lose it and even gain a little. You know, I, I, it, there's something, something wacky going on here. And I think it has to do with me suddenly thinking that sugar-free means low-carb. Okay, and put other stuff in there that uh, that adds carbs. Well, yeah, uh, yes, Patrick. Could your dick be getting bigger? My, is my dick getting bigger? Yeah, no, but I don't have to worry about that. Uh, you know, only if it gets smaller. It fell off a long time ago, huh? It fell off a long time ago. It fell ago. off a long. It became a vestigial <laughs> organ years ago. So, if anybody knows what vestigial is, it's a hilarious joke. I, I think it means just good for peeing. You know what a vestigial organ is? That's any, uh, your appendix is a vestigial organ. 
It's an organ that doesn't do anything anymore. You know, it used to years ago when people ate like a lot of animal fat and things like that. Right. It had a reason for existence, but it doesn't anymore. So it's a vestigial organ. So I say I made a joke about my penis being a vestigial organ. And everybody's supposed to laugh, and I'm supposed to get the big bucks for that. So, you know. That's a big science yeah. joke. But anyway, so so um, we, um, we had, um, uh, let's see here. So we had the whole, the whole thing with the government closing down and then opening up, of course, the following Monday. That's the way business usually is done. Let's just think of last Monday as a holiday, okay? Because that's all it really amounted to. But it was that, you know, on a certain, to a certain extent, I don't know what DACA has to do with the federal budget, okay? But it was being used as a ploy. And it was a ploy that kind of worked because, uh, you know, uh, the Republicans agreed they would deal with DACA. And, and it, it looks like the Republicans are not necessarily against DACA, that no. they realized that uh, something like 85 percent of Americans polled said they were for DACA. But they got chip in with this last uh, agreement, six years of chip. Did they? I didn't yeah. know. That. Yes. Good. Good. Yeah. That's terrific. But, you know, so, I mean, the, the, the Democrats were fighting for something that was probably a fait accompli anyway. I, I just, I think it makes, I, I try to think who it may look worse, the Republicans or the Democrats, and of course, Phil will disagree with me, but I think it was worse for the Republicans and for a very simple reason. Because they pulled back from their funding for the wall. Trump said he wanted eighteen billion. They gave him twenty-five billion, and then Schumer just said, uh, "I'm not going to do it now." No, Schumer uh, didn't say, "I'm not going to do it now." Yeah, Trump said, said you don't have support. a deal. Trump says no, you no, don't. But but Schumer said he was pulling back his support for the wall. No, he didn't say that. He got a call from the White House saying, "We've decided we're not going to go with the deal." That yeah, but that. That was the entire deal, but Schumer today. No, no, no. He was talking about the part about the wall, Phil. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Is the wall? Let me see if I can find it. Well, I'm, a, I'm a fuck Schumer for even saying he's going to give money for that goddamn wall. Right, twenty-five exactly. billion. Useless, useless piece of crap. But you know, if they trade the wall for DACA, it does mean that the Mexicans are going to pay for it. You know. Is there a, a, would you like to diagram that joke for us, uh, and then maybe we can well, follow no, it's, along it's, all it of us? It was a joke, you know. If uh, if by allowing uh, these uh, young uh, dreamers uh, to stay in this country uh, over the and and they get the wall funded because of that, you know, in essence, they're paying. Well, for I it. imagine with the dreamers is a bunch of people from other countries going. Let me in, too. <laughs> yeah, I'm dreaming. Uh, uh, you know, I, I, just, I just think that, uh, but anyway, the, the vast majority of Americans are, is for, are for DACA. The, 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 it was at least 80%, maybe 85% when they did this, some polling. So this is not something the Republicans aren't going to go along with because it's not in their, their best interest to say, I'm the guy who was against keeping those kids here, you know? Um, so uh, uh, th that's not as big a problem. So why? But anyway, what I was saying was, I think the reason the Republicans are in more trouble than the Democrats, number one, by the time we get to November, everybody's going to forget this incident. OK, it's not going to be a big issue. Uh, but the fact of the matter is that that, uh, we, you know, the, 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 in the case of the Republicans, here's a president who, under his watch, what happened? The government closed down on his watch. And this is supposedly Mr. <clears throat> deal Maker. This is the art of the deal guy. Yes, Patrick. Remember, you, you, you're not a simple majority in the Senate. Right. They needed 60 votes. And I think that was lost throughout this whole thing last week with everybody on Facebook and Twitter who were uh, making fun of the Republicans, saying, well, they've got the House, the Senate, and the presidency, and they can't get it done. Well, actually, I think, isn't the Congress also, isn't, isn't Congress the same way now, too? I think that as of the first of the year, 
they lost that simple majority thing and went back to the 60 percent deal i'm not sure on the house, yeah i think I so so i mean i i always thought that to me that's just ignorant humor and that people are, are ignorant in what they're saying that you know they're, they're trying to make a joke or they're trying to, to be cute yeah and it's just, they're ill-informed and the best argument is what you just said if trump is supposed to be the deal maker he should have been able to get the democrat needed for the 60 votes yeah but that's not on the house and that's not on the Senate. That's on him now. Mm -hmm. By the way, John Perulis, who called the other night, wait a minute, John Perulis, who called the other night, says, trying to get in, Alex. And I don't know why you can't get in, because I haven't seen you call, and you are on our our list here. So, John, just keep trying. Either that or go over to open up your uh, Skype, get it online and everything, and then go over to the GabNet uh, page, GabNet.net, and go to that call Skype, Skype, and then call, it says there. And you guys, some of you guys use that, I think, and it, it gets you right, it gets you dialed right up to us. So give that a try, too, because uh, we really liked you the other night, John. You were terrific. Yes, At uh, yes, Phil. At this afternoon, says Schumer takes border wall off the table. Well, that so, was today. Uh, huh? That was today. Yes. Yes. He took the border wall off the table. But he didn't the other day. He made an offer. No, he didn't. But now he has as, as a bargaining chip. So when yeah. Trump pulled back and said the deal is off, Schumer didn't take it off at that time. Yeah. He took it off today uh, after the uh, long after the shutdown was yeah. uh, taken care of. Well, by the so, way, yeah, yeah. I think they're going to use it to bargain for uh, DACA. Okay. By the way, uh, John says he sent me an entry request. You don't have to. You did the other day. You're, you, all you have to do is dial in. That's all. You're, you're, you'll be recognized. So I don't know what to say. But anyway, so, uh, but uh, no, but, uh, when he went to see Trump, he made him this deal. Okay. Right. Trump then acted like, oh, well, I, maybe I think so, we'll let you know, whatever. And he goes back to his offices and he gets a call from, I don't know, an assistant to the president saying the president decided not to take your offer. All right? right. So what Schumer was saying today is, okay, he didn't decide to take the offer. It's now off the table. Because he was probably getting a lot of heat from people. A, well, he was saying that uh, he, he wanted to use it as a bargaining chip for future negotiations. Well, but, whatever, uh, whatever. You know, He's that, trying. That's, it's Schumer, a Schumer, Schumer. A lot of people are mad at Schumer, like myself, for even offering that up. And I think what he's trying to do is he's trying to backtrack so he doesn't look like he gave it all up. All right. Well, it, it looks like there's a possibility that the Democrats are are talking. Hey, we'll give you the wall. This is a long way off from no wall, I'm not paying for that fucking wall, uh, you know, and all the other uh, little things that were going on about the wall. Now, all of a sudden, maybe they're acquiescing and saying, well, you know, no. walls are right. I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think it's as simple as that, Phil. Uh, I, I, I do think that a lot of Democrats are mad at Chuck Schumer. How about you, Jeff? Are you mad at Chuck Schumer? I I was not happy the way he was going. I was like, why would he do that? It didn't make a lot of sense from my perspective. But at the same time, whatever he agreed, the president in 27 minutes changed his mind again. So it's, it's kind of I don't hard think to... He, did they ever commit in the first place to the deal? Well, uh, the president told them that 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 he made it with the Democrats and therefore it, it, it's what prompted uh, Schumer to say dealing with Trump is like trying to make a deal with Jello. Yeah, <laughs> silly putty. Uh, yeah. Well, but, I, and but, the other part is, I think the president has no idea how this country works. Well, he he also has no he ha also has no idea of the limits of his power. He thinks he can just wave his hand and something gets done. 
and that doesn't he, happen, you know. And that's he's why he's that, king. that's why Mueller he's is probably going to be able to, to to stick him in a corner somewhere and give him a really good he, Alex, lashing you're because wrong. you're wrong. He doesn't use a, he doesn't use his hand. He uses a scepter. <laughs> a scepter. <laughs> Bull crap. <laughs> Bull crap. Is, oh, That's a technical term meaning lines? bull crap. <laughs> or as it's known <laughs> in 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 uh, in some other countries, especially the shithole countries. Yeah. As shithole. So anyway, yeah. uh, I just uh, I, I, I I just uh, I think it was disappointing that uh, you know that Schumer's even talking for us. You know, I wish I wish Al Franken were still there. You know, I wish Franken could get his two cents worth in. This was a guy yeah. who didn't who didn't compromise like that. That he believed what he believed, and he stuck to his guns. They neutered him, and and if and if he was willing to quit so quickly and so easily, uh, maybe there's like you say this where there's smoke, there's fire. Yeah. You know? Well, uh, I, the, apparently the there wasn't about. there wasn't fire because nobody else came forward. Okay. Well, the guy's gone. The guy's gone. But I think he just, I think he didn't, I th his reasoning behind leaving was that he really didn't, he felt he could no longer do a really good job for the people of Minnesota because he's being hobbled by this situation. And if he went into all these hearings and things like that, he couldn't get the people's work done. He would rather see somebody be at his post that could get it taken care of, you know. And and I thought that that was honorable, and I think it was right of him, you know. So if he would have waited a couple of months, and they had a couple of independent hearings, he would probably be exonerated, and he wouldn't have had to step down. Yeah. Um, uh, I almost Vicky Chang with says you, Franken so. is still there, is he not? Didn't he no, say he, he would resign, but he's not yet. He he resigned. Uh, the f January first, and they put in a, a a woman in his place. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Jeff was saying something. Yeah. Yes. Well, I I thought originally he was willing to wait for the for his uh, colleagues to discuss what he did and what he didn't do, and that a decision would be made, and it would take several months before they had the chance to do that. Mm -hmm. Well, our friends from uh, New York and other uh, people said, no, you got to leave now. And you know why? Yes. The Alabama election that was going on. Right. And they wanted to be able right. to assail uh, the guy in Alabama, whose name I forget now, it's been Moore. Roy Moore. Yes. Uh, they, they wanted to be able to assail Roy Moore without having people come back and say, well, look at your Al Franken. But that wasn't really the case. And that's why I hate Kirsten Gillibrand, why I consider her a major cunt, and I will never, ever vote for her, and I will do everything I can to prevent her from getting reelected here. I just there think there she's people? terrible. I think using Franken as a sacrificial lamb was just abominable. Were there people saying that Gillibrand uh, uh, should run for president or, or oh, something? Oh, no, that she wants to. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. She's, she's lining maybe herself she was up. using Franken as a stepping stone. Well, she maybe she thought so, but a lot of people don't like Gillibrand now because of what she did, and it's going to come back to haunt her. So, uh, somebody said, who was it, said that she actually shot herself in the foot with that one? Probably Trump. Well, you know, the only reason, listen, if this had happened at any other time, Franken would still be there. Yeah. The fact that it happened when this whole Roy Moore, Doug Jones thing was taking place uh, made him uh, cannon fodder, you know, and he was the sacrificial lamb. Are I think it's terrible. New, what? Are there any new people falling in the last week or so? Uh, to the uh, Me Too movement, or well, uh, it's kind of petering out. You yeah. know, I mean, uh, yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, we've got the problem with uh, what's his name, the actor. Uh, um, oh boy, uh, one, the, the one, one that one, Bobby the, was working with, the Golden Globe. No, 
No, oh. no. The goal won the Golden Globe. Uh, uh, Franco, yeah. James Franco. Uh, yeah. It seems to be getting not good for him. I mean, he didn't he didn't uh, win uh, a SAG award, uh, and he didn't get nominated today for an Oscar. You know, and he'd been nominated for everything on everything, and yet they didn't nominate him for the Oscars. So it came back to bite him in the ass. You know, now, whether he's guilty of anything, you know, the, the question again goes back to are, are there different levels of guilt we're talking about here, you know? Uh, and um, is this, is he on the level with Harvey Weinstein? And if not, why should he have to suffer the same as Harvey Weinstein? You know, well, uh, uh, they, I didn't watch the SAG Awards. But uh, I voted. I, I voted for them. I know you did. Yeah. Uh, but I understand that it was an all woman uh, present uh, presenters for the most part. The, yeah, yeah. Uh, they said. Well, at least that's what they said in the news that there weren't any men. Uh, yeah, male presenters. which I felt was uh, sexual discrimination. No, really, yeah. I was disappointed in my union. Number one, I thought the nominations were terrible. There was, you know, there was a terrible raft of nominations. And then that whole thing to just be really touchy feely about the whole Me Too movement, you know, was I think wrong. I think it was sexist. I think it was uh, um, separating. Uh, if if we suddenly next year said we're going to have nothing but guys do it, what kind of shit would we get for that? Yeah, you know, uh, they'd be yelling and screaming. What? No, no women making the presentation. Yeah, well, we felt last year the women did it, so this year we'll let the guys do it. No, what do you mean, sexist pigs? You know, me too. Uh, pri uh, you know, time's up. Uh, whatever. You know, I mean, I'm getting sick of it. It's it. Some who who called it? Um, what? Because uh, I kept referring to it as being like McCarthyism. And somebody came up with a term combining what this is. It's like, uh, uh, well, I can't remember what it was now, but it was uh, something to do with McCarthy and what's going on now and combining the terms. Uh, it's a form of McCarthyism. It's a form of witch hunting. And, uh, you know, the, the basic premise of it was noble, uh, but it has been brought down to an ugly, ugly situation by women who simply want to get even with guys. You know, and uh, somebody said, you know, you know, some what you could call a lot of these cases was just dating. <laughs> you know, so I don't know what, what Jeff. Did you happen to read in the New York Times today about the theater in New Haven, which is a very well, well uh, organized theater? Yeah. That the guy who's run the theater for ten years. He's he's being fired because of uh, problems with women, and um, I even uh, know about some of the people who left their job yeah. because of problems with him. And um, talked to a couple of people, and they're all pretty much like, "Yes, it's time to throw this guy out." And you know, that was a substantial job that he had, and, and he was very good at it, too. But this uh, having a job as a man where there's a lot of women in the, in the uh, that you're working with, you better you be, be very gay. responsible these days. Well, I would agree with okay, you. Okay. I, I, I would agree. I would agree. <laughs> I know, but I agree right? with you in situations like that that it may be warranted. I mean, we don't know how guilty or unguilty he is because we weren't in on the situation. Right. But uh, you know, I certainly men using their power that way is wrong. But I got to tell you, you know, when I started in this business, I wanted to be an actor, and so I was part of a lot of theater groups and a lot of uh, theater stuff. And I would do plays, and uh, I would have guys, directors, come on to me. Uh, I would usually tell them, well, I'm not gay, so, you know, I, I, it's not, I'm not interested, and they would back off. But, or fire. but it goes the other way. I mean, people in power, period. I imagine there are women out there who use their power, if they're very powerful women, to get laid. 
You know, I and, and, and that kind of action is wrong, whether a man does it or a woman does it. But we're not talking about the fact that it's endemic to business, not just to men, not just to women. There happen to be more men in power, and so that makes it more egregious. You know what good came out of this? You know that guy Nasser, who was the uh, doctor for the uh, yeah. gymnastics team? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I guess he was abusing, uh, he, he was a pedophile. And uh, he was uh, abusing a number of the young uh, yeah. gymnasts. Yeah. And uh, he's going to go to jail for a long time. Yeah. yeah. So maybe that gave them the impetus to come forward and expose this, this monster. Well, I mean, he'd been, he's been doing it for years. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and uh, he, he'd been doing it under the aegis of the, um, the World Gymnastic Federation or whatever, the United States Gymnastic Federation and the Carolis. You know the Carolis are? They train all these women. Yeah. Well, he was a doctor working with the Carolis. They just pulled the Carolis' uh, accreditation and their, their camp uh, out, of the, out of the mix because of all of this. But the fact is that what was happening there was young women being abused by someone saying he was a doctor, and yes, I need to put my finger up your pussy because I'm a doctor. You know. I, I need to put my penis in your pussy because it's going to make you a better athlete. I mean, he was he he took his he not only took his position of authority, but his position as a doctor. You know, yeah. to abuse these women, uh, deserve gets every got every everything he deserves. The only thing is, there is an they they have sentenced him. They're going to sentence him uh, to a certain in uh, a determined uh, amount of time in prison. But they've already sentenced him to. Years and years of women telling him how horrible he was because he's <laughs> sitting in that fucking courtroom every day. And there are like 150 women testifying. This is going on for weeks with them saying, look what you did to me. And they're all coming forward now. Don't child molesters have a tough time in prison? Yes. I, I think they, uh, the prisoners have a code of ethics. And uh, that, that's not, not... Well, that's why he's going to have to be put in... in uh, what do they call solitary, it? Uh, you know, know, not solitary, but uh, segregation. Yeah, yeah because uh, he uh, he wouldn't last for a second in there. Because this is child abuse. I mean, these girls were all, you know, 14, 15, 16. You yeah, know. so if, if that got exposed uh, because of this movement, you know, then... I, I know, don't I think this movement, this movement it. was not the reason it got exposed. This, this uh, He was he arrested was. a long time before Me Too came around, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, okay. yeah, yeah, you know, was, uh, uh, no, uh, no. He, they, there had been accusations against him that it, they'd gone to the police about it. One thing led to another, and he got arrested. Uh, it had nothing to do with the Me Too movement. I think what the Me Too movement did was embolden some of the women who didn't want to talk about it to come forward and say, "Yes, he molested me too." Yeah. Uh, I think th it empowered that part of it. But it certainly didn't empower. I think the first Me Too movement, to be honest with you, were all the women that came forward about Bill Cosby. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, if you remember, it came out to what was 50 women or something like that, all saying that he, you know. He, so what's happening with him lately? Nobody cares. He's he, he <laughs> look, he's actually looks like a pretty good guy right now. You know, compared yeah, to the rest of them. compared to this uh, this uh, gymnastic doctor, he's a prince. You yeah. kidding me? You know, um, they they they're trying to bring up Woody Allen again and make yeah. life miserable for him uh, because his uh, stepdaughter, uh, his adopted daughter, the adopted daughter of Mia Farrow, and his stepdaughter uh, Dylan Farrow uh, has accused him of uh, has, over the years has accused him of molestation, to which he has denied it emphatically. And it was investigated by the police and found to have no merit. No merit. So, but and yet it's affecting Woody because there are a lot of female actresses, for instance, who now are not working with him, um, including Mira Sorvino, who he won an Academy Award for, who won't work with him because uh, because so, of know. the because of the accusation, not because of any proof that's been laid there. Uh, Mira Sorvino was uh, was accosted by uh, uh, the the guy in Hollywood. What, what's his name? Uh, well, which uh, guy in Hollywood? There are a lot of guys in Hollywood. Weinstein. Uh, oh, Weinstein. Weinstein. Yes. Yes. Uh, and uh, uh, you know, so 
yeah, it's just you know accusations. Uh, I, I I can never you, see uh, they 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 want to disband the Constitution when well, it comes. Well, to- well, I do think you know. I mean, I I understand the passion here. Hey, listen, we we all know. I do believe Weinstein. If if he even did one of the things they said he did, one, that's enough. Okay, um, but I'm sure it was more than that. And he always had the reputation. You knew about it. The only question I would have for these women is, you knew about it. You know, why did you go up to his room? You knew it was the modus operandi. People, there were, anytime a woman goes, I'm going up to Har- Harvey's room, they go, watch out, you know about Harvey. And then they would tell him everything and they'd still go. Well, even Oprah Winfrey knew about it and she did nothing, right? Yeah. And, and, and uh, um, what was I going to say? He, he um, uh, the, and of course, Meryl Streep, you know, I didn't know anything about this. Well, give her another Academy Award for that performance, you know? I mean, I come on, I, come on. I, I don't I, I don't live in Hollywood, and I don't have a vagina, and I knew about Harvey Weinstein. My friend Shecky lives in Queens. He doesn't live in Hollywood. He knew about Harvey Weinstein. It was just, it was a known thing in this business for 20 years that he was a horn dog. Yeah. I wonder how long he's gonna if he if he if he ever goes to trial. I wonder how long he's gonna get jail time. But he's I don't think he's ever going to go to trial. I don't think it's gonna be a trial for Harvey Weinstein. He'll settle. Uh, to begin with, Harvey has uh, as opposed to all these other people, has not admitted to anything. In fact he he said no, I all these are you know everybody has a version of what went on. You know, that's what he's saying. That's his his take on it. So, you know, it, 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 who knows what what's going to happen? But I mean, I agree with you, Phil. That there's a certain level here of hey, we don't just accuse somebody because somebody anonymously in a in a in a post on a on on Twitter, who we don't know who they are, claims hey, he made me blow him in the car. Yeah. Uh, you know, and then we suddenly ruin a guy's career because. She wrote, he suddenly, you know, he made me push his head down, my head down, and I blew him in the car. You know, hey, you know, if, if any, every woman who ever blew me in a car were to come forward, I'd be, I'd be done for. Uh, you know. Yes, Phil, did you have your hand up there? Oh, no, no scratch my head. Oh, yeah. What do you think, Scott? I wasn't listening oh what are you talking about oh, okay do you know uh, uh, huh i was uh, i was reading about larry nasser on the uh oh. on my computer yeah well, anything interesting he used well, to be president of egypt he's uh he's been doing he was in the work 20 years for the gymnastic people so he's probably been yeah Doing this for a long so time. So that's all. I, I, yeah. can't, I can't find a date as to when when he first started. You know, when when the first gal claimed he did this yet. But I was just looking to see how long he'd been. Yeah, but ninety eight girls have come up against him right now. By the, uh, there are going to be one hundred and fifty testifying. So he's going to have, he has a miserable week ahead of him. He really does. <laughs> okay. You Sorry, know. I was I'm, didn't mean to ignore you, but I was. No, that's okay. That's I just know. fine. You came back with some valuable information. Did you read about? SpaceX today that they have on the launch pad. I can't remember the name of it now, uh, but it is it, it is the biggest rocket they've ever built, and it is capable of lifting. Where did I, where did I do I have the story here? Where did I where did I have it? Hold on a second. I want to see if I have the story on my iPad because uh, the figures are phenomenal. But as you know, SpaceX is being run by uh, uh, by Elon Musk. Um, who is is the man who's pioneering space more than almost than NASA ever did? I mean, you hear about his new later after this, uh, he got a new compensation package from uh, uh, for his company. Yeah, but, but but it's it's not a lot of money. No, it's not. Uh, he's got a he, there's got to be increases mm-hmm. uh, in uh, uh, significant increases for him to to see any money, and they have specific goals. So I guess he's not in it for the money. It doesn't matter. It says uh, 
uh, the, on, the, on the launch pad that we used to use for years down there uh, in, uh, in Florida, uh, Elon Musk's upstart we- rocket company are preparing for the maiden flight of what is by most measures the world's most powerful rocket since the Saturn V. The Falcon Heavy, that's the name of it, will be able to carry more than 140,000 pounds to low Earth orbit or more than twice as much as current competing rockets. Now, what they're going to do is they're going to take this rocket and they're going to send it out and have it circle Mars. Okay? Indefinitely. And guess what they're putting in the rocket since it can put up 140,000 pounds? A cherry red Tesla. No. Yes. Here's a, here's a picture of it, as a matter of fact. Let me see here. Bum, da, ba, da, bum. There we go. Cherry red Tesla, ladies and gentlemen. There it is. See it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think the batteries from that Tesla is what's driving the, the rocket. Uh, rocket. Well, here's what happens with the rocket. Here's how they're doing it. He He's very smart. He finds more inexpensive ways of doing this. See, this is the rocket here. See if I can, yeah, you see that? Yeah. You see wow. it's got those two side rockets? Well, those are the normal rockets they use all the time. And they're just giving it added thrust by putting the two of them on, on the side of that one. And uh, it, 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 it's going to go out there. And he says that he hopes that maybe sometime a billion years from now, and that thing is still floating around Mars, that, uh, that uh, some... Uh, extraterrestrial civilization will find his Tesla. <laughs> I wonder if they still launch rockets and uh, well, is it somewhere in South America and Guyana? They're different places. They do them. Uh, yeah, when we yeah. when, when I worked for Sirius, we uh, the U- Ukraine. A lot of rockets were shot from the Ukraine. From their secret rocket? No, no. Those are the ones that they shot at Europe. No, this was like Sirius satellites were shot up using rockets uh, that were uh, sent up uh, from. Uh, uh, there's a big, there's a big space place in uh, in the Ukraine, no, not in the Ukraine. Excuse me. In uh, what's the other one? Oh. Russia. No. Um, Riskiana. No, no. Where where was the place that? Uh, oh God, I can't remember now. It's 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 one of the. Uh, because the Chinese are sending them up too, uh, huh? Chinese the Chinese are sending, up sending them up, but uh, I'm saying that there are, are companies that professionally send these things up to put satellites in orbit. And mm-hmm. uh, this company was in not not Afghanistan, uh, uh, not Turkmenistan. Uh, what was it? Where was Borat from? Um, you remember? You remember the movie? Was it a real place? Uh, huh? Was it a real place? Yes. Is that Trump? Kazakhstan. I, 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 I just, no, no, no. It was it was one of the stands. Uh, but anyway, it was, up, up a design, uh, no, 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 Stan uh, Laurel. No, yeah, uh, Bob and Stan. Uh, anyway, so, no, just stop it, Mike. You're not coming up with you're coming up with stands that don't exist. No. Termeka Stan. No. But um, anyway, uh, the. <laughs> Anyway, they they use that as a place to send up rockets. I don't know if there's a place in South America. There may well be. They, you know, there are companies that actually own these bases that that are places you can send your rockets up from. So, you know, and I don't know where all the Russian ones take off from. But uh, anyway, so it was anybody ready to see the SpaceX Falcon Nine rocket launched into space from California's Vandenberg Air Force Base? Yes. You're right. Um, and Alex, you are you unusually interested in space flight. Are you planning to go astronaut? When I was a kid, I wanted to be an astronaut, but that was before there was ever such a thing as an astronaut. But I wanted to be one. And I never got into space, but I knew that at least I would get to see us get to Mars in my lifetime. And because we fucked up so terribly and just took our eye off the ball, 
Uh, we aren't even close to it yet. You would have been a kid when uh, they had all of those comics with the jet packs. And I, I forget who the... Uh, uh, yeah, you had Buck it. Rogers. Yeah, Buck, Buck Rogers, Rogers and Flash Gordon, and you know. Yeah. Yeah. So you know, I, I could see. As but yeah, but those things it, didn't. Those things didn't really create my interest in this. No. Uh, they just uh, simply were. To me, they were fiction. You know, but fun fiction. You know, I enjoyed it as fiction. But it's an amazing. It's, it's all come true today. Uh, but it hasn't come true. I oh, mean, the jetpacks and all of those things. What? When? When? When have you seen a jetpack? Uh, on uh, wearing on the back, I've seen uh, them. On, they, uh, they, on they, the they, they 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 made they made some for the fun of it, but they didn't make any that actually had a real purpose for existence. Uh, you know, so they me. could use them in a James Bond movie, you know, things like that. But no, we never we never came out with a jetpack or one that we used for real reasons. You know, oh hey, get the jetpack out. We need it now, so Bob can go over and do this to that or whatever. You know, no, we don't have that. Hey, listen, Scott, wherever you are, good night. Scott's little uh, little there. There's where he's supposed to be. Okay, uh, there's Mike. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, Jeff. You're welcome. Thank you, Phil. Thank you, Patrick. Really appreciate it. If all of you people would wave a nice goodbye to all the find the people out there in the TV land. Yes, that's our citizens panel for tonight. And I'm Alex Bennett. And that's me for tonight. Uh, let me see here. Let me get rid of everybody here. Uh, and let me also turn off Skype so that Jack and Amy, who are next over most of the same station, will be able to, uh, to use it. Okay? And in the meantime, at uh, 1 o'clock this morning, it's Connections. And uh, tomorrow night at, uh, we want to remind you, at, at 8.30 is uh, our sports show called The Arena with Franchise MC and then followed by uh, Damian Chaplin and The Exchange. I'm Alex Bennett. I'll see you again right here tomorrow night at 10 Eastern Time. In the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye.